여러분 안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 아, 우리가 마가복음 1장에 나타난 예수님의 이야기 너무 아름답습니다. The story of Jesus in Mark chapter 1 is so beautiful. 예수님은 우리하고 다르시죠? Jesus is different from us. 예수님은 힘이 있습니다. Jesus has power. 병도 고치고. He heals diseases. 살리고, he raised the dead. 귀신도 쫓아내리고. And cast out demons. 우리 우리는 그 못합니다. 그 대신에 우리가 예수님의 마음을 받는 것을 볼수 있습니다. We are unable to do those things. 그 대신에 However, instead, 우리가 예수님의 마음을 받아들이면, if we receive the heart of Jesus, 예수 마음은 우리 마음이 하나가 되면, when the heart of Jesus and our hearts become one. 다시 말해서 38년 된 병자 자기는 걷지 못합니다. In other words, the man with the infirmity for 38 years cannot walk. 그런데 자기는 그 걷지 못한다는 생각이 마음에 꽉차 있습니다. His heart is packed with the thoughts that he cannot walk. 그런데 예수님이 오셔 일어나서 걸어가라 그랬습니다. But Jesus came and told him to get up and walk. 자기는 못 걸어가는데 he cannot walk. 예수님 걸어갈 수 있다는 거지요. But Jesus is telling him you can walk. 자기 생각을 받으리면 if you accept his own thoughts, 난못 걸어가네. Oh, I cannot walk. 예수 말씀을 받아들이면 But if he accepts the word of Jesus, 걸어가는 겁니다. He is able to walk. 그 병자가 걸어가는 것은 The sick man was able to walk. 자기 생각으로 걸어가는 것이 아닙니다. He was not through his own thoughts. 예수님의 말씀으로 걸어가는 것입니다. He was walking through the words of Jesus. 우리가 죄 사함도 그렇습니다. Same thing with the forgiveness of sins. 나는 죄를 많이 지었기 때문에 I committed lots of sins. 죄인이라고 생각합니다. Therefore, we think I'm a sinner. 죄인이라고 생각하는 것은 And we think that we're a sinner. 내 생각입니다. That's our own thought. 예수님 말씀 뭐라고 합니까? But what do the words of Jesus say? 내가 죄를 지었지만 Yes, you have sinned. 의롭다고 하십니다. But he justified you. 왜 의롭다고 하십니까? Why does he say you're justified? 예수님 우리 죄를 사했기 때문에 의롭다고 하십니다. He says you're justified because he forgave your sins at the cross. 그래서 이제 우리가 우리 생각을 믿느냐 말씀을 믿느냐 이겁니다. Therefore, will you believe in your own thoughts or will you believe in the word? 우리는 죄를 지었기 때문에 Because we have sinned. 마땅히 죄인이나 틀림이 없습니다. Surely we are sinners. 그런데 이제 예수님은 뭐라고 말하냐면 But what does Jesus say? 의롭다고 그랬어요. He tells us we are justified. 성경에 우리가 의롭다는 얘기 굉장히 많이 나옵니다. So many places of the Bible tell us we are justified. 이 성경 고전서 6장에 보면 In the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 굉장히 놀라운 말씀이 있는데요. There is an amazing scripture there. I will read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 6. 6장 10절입니다. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 10. 여기 뭐 놀라운 말씀이 있습니다. Here we have amazing words here. 도적이나 탄남한 자, 술 취하는 자, 후욕하는 자, 토색하는 자들은 하나님 나라를 유혹을 받지 못하리라. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. 자 여기서 도둑질을 하면 죄인이 되는 겁니다. Here, if you steal, you're a sinner. 탐나마거나 술 취하는 후유한 자 죄를 지은 겁니다. Or drunkards, covetous, revilers, extortioners, these are all sinners. Extortioners, these are sinners. 십일 절에 뭐라 되냐면. And in verse eleven, what does it say? 너희 중에 이와 같은 자들이 있더니. And such were some of you. 주 예수 그리스도의 이름과 우리 안에 성령 안에 시선과 거룩과 의롭다심을 얻었느냐. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. 자, 11절에 말하기를 Verse 11 tells us 너희 중에 이와 같은 자들이 있더니 하는 것은 And such were some of you, which means 도둑질하거나 you have committed theft, or covetous, 술 취하거나, drunkards, 후욕하거나, revilers, extortioners, talking about them. 이런 사람 할 나라에 못 갑니다. Saying that such people cannot go to heaven. 그런데 십 일절에, but here in verse eleven, 그런 사람이 있는데, there are such people. 그런데 우리가 거룩해졌다 합니다. But you are sanctified. But you are washed. 그리고 우리 거룩하고 but you are sanctified 의롭다고 말하 but you are justified 왜? why 예수님의 이름과 하나님의 성령 안에서 in the name of the lord jesus and by the spirit of our god 예수님의 이름으로 by the name of jesus 씻어졌다는 겁니다 we are washed 예수님의 이름으로 거룩해졌다는 것이 by the name of jesus we are sanctified 예수님으로 의로워졌다는 것이 through jesus we are justified 우리가 볼 때는 죄인인데 in our eyes we are sinners 예수님 볼 때는 거룩하고 의로웠다는 것이 but in the eyes of jesus we are sanctified we are justified 그래서 그리스도 이름 주 예수 그리스도의 이름과 우리 하나님의 성령 안에서 시선과 거룩함과 
That's why, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. No matter how many sins we've committed, if the judge says not guilty, you are not guilty. No matter how much evil we've done, if God says you're holy, you're holy. Here, surely it says, and such were some of you. Committing theft, covetous, drunkards, revilers, extortioners. But you are washed through the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. In the Spirit, you are washed. You are sanctified. You are justified. So let's talk about this. God tells us you are justified. We say we're sinners. Are our thoughts right or the word of God right? God says our sins have been washed. We say we're sinners. God says we are justified. We say we're sinners. So whose words should you believe? Should you believe your thoughts or the word of God? If you believe your thoughts, yeah, we have all sinned, we're sinners. But if you believe the word of God, God tells us our sins have been washed by the blood of Jesus at the cross that we are justified. But people of many churches today, even though they go to church and say that they believe the Bible, they believe their own thoughts more than the words of the Bible. Because they have their own conscience. Oh, no matter how much I think about it, I cannot say I'm justified. I committed theft. I lied. I got an abortion. I committed adultery. How could I be righteous? That's how it is in their own thoughts. But the important thing is, are your thoughts right or the word of God right? In your thoughts, you're a sinner. But what does the word say? What does God say? What does Jesus say? No matter how much you've sinned, if Jesus says you're justified, you are righteous. If Jesus says you are sanctified, you are holy. That's how the whole Bible goes. In John chapter 3, Nicodemus meets Jesus. And Nicodemus says, I know that you're a teacher sent by God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Nicodemus surely knows that Jesus was a teacher from God. But what does Jesus say to Nicodemus? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But the amazing thing is, at the word, Nicodemus could say, Oh Lord, really? Do I have to become born again? How is that? I want to become born again. I want to go to heaven. Please teach me. That's what he should have said. But Nicodemus refused the words of Jesus. How can man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? You know, a woman really goes through a difficult, difficult time to have a small child. And sometimes the child grows even grows larger than the mother. How can that person enter back into the mother's womb? It's impossible. But Jesus says, Except the man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Jesus was originally God. He had no body. And for him to be born in the human body, he came through Virgin Mary and he was born with a body. Jesus was originally a spirit. 
육으로 태어난 겁니다. Now he was born in the flesh. 예수님 하나님의 영이 계시고 So there is the spirit of God. 육신의 몸이 있습니다. And there is the body of the human flesh. 우리는 원래 육신뿐이었습니다. We were human flesh to begin with. 육신이기 때문에 And because we are flesh. 우리 뭘 해도 우리 노력으로 선해지거나 어려워질 수가 없습니다. No matter what we do with our efforts, we cannot become good or righteous. 근데 이제 우리가 하나님 말씀을 받아들이면 But when we accept the word of God, 하나님 말씀이 우리 안에 들어오면 When the word of God enters our hearts, 하나님 말씀을 믿으면 When we believe the word of God, 그 하나님 역사 우리 몸 안에서 역사를 합니다. Then the word of God begins to work in our body. 내 몸에 역사할 뿐 아니라 Not only in your body, 마음에도 역사. Also in your heart. 천간에 쏘인 사람이 The man who was stung by a scorpion, 하나님 약속을 믿었습니다. He believed the promise of God. 여호와는 악망한 자의 새 힘을 얻으리라. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. 내가 하나님을 악망합니다. I wait upon you, God. 하나님 도와주십시오. God help me. 그때 하나님 새 힘을 주어. Right then, God gave him new strength. And the young man stung by the scorpion came alive. Everyone, when you accept the word of God by faith, the young man stung by the scorpion came alive. The power of God will work in you likewise. Surely we have committed sin. We've done evil. We have lied, stolen. We committed many sins. That's right. We're sinners. In our eyes, we're sinners. But God says. We're justified. Nonsense. I'm a sinner. How could I be righteous? Why is God saying we are righteous? It is not that we didn't sin. Yes, we have sinned. But they've been placed on Jesus. And they were all washed away at the cross. Every little bit of it was all washed away at the cross. That's why it is clear we're not sinners. We are righteous. We are sinners. But if he could just call us righteous, then God would be a liar. But God does not lie. Even though we sinned, the blood of Jesus forgave all our sins. That's why we have been made righteous. How amazing this is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. 나는 정말 죄인인데. And really, I'm a sinner. 내가 볼때 죄인이지만. I'm a sinner in my eyes. 하나님 나를 어렵다 그랬어. But God says I'm justified. 내가 아무리 죄인이라도. No matter how much sins I've committed. 하나님 나를 어렵다면. If God says I'm justified. 그런 게 맞다. Then that's right. I am righteous. I said I'm righteous. 한 번은 목회자 모임에 갔습니다. Once there was a meeting with pastors. 제가 이제 강의를 하는데. And I was lecturing. And I stood up and I said, "I said I am righteous. I have no sins." Then all the pastors there were stunned. They said, "Pastor, question. We have a question. Question." I said, "Yes. Go ahead." They said, "Pastor, you've never said. You've never lied. You've never stolen anything." I smiled and I said, "I've lied so many times I can't count, and I committed theft many times." And then I said, "Long time ago, I stole apples from other people's farms. And when I was hungry, I stole wheat from other people's farms and ate them." In the Bible, it doesn't say that that's a sin. They say, "If you steal with your hands, it's not a sin. You have to use a sickle for it to be a sin." Anyhow, I stole apples and wheat, and I said, "I stole apples and wheat, and I sinned." Anyhow, I stole apples and wheat, and I sinned. Anyhow, I stole apples and wheat, and I sinned. Anyhow, I stole apples and wheat, and I sinned. I was a sinner. But in the Bible, God says that my sins have been washed away through the blood of Jesus. Even though I've committed many, many sins, if God says I am washed, then that's right, I am washed. If Jesus says I'm sanctified, then I am holy. How thankful this is, I cannot say in words. From then on, I I say I am righteous. God says I'm righteous, then I'm righteous, aren't I? If God says I'm holy, I'm holy, aren't I? If God says I'm washed, then I am washed, aren't I? When Jesus was crucified, He died for our sins. When He died, did He not forgive our sins? It means then He failed. No, Jesus did not fail. 내 모든 죄를 눈보다 희게 다 사. 
She washed away all my sins whiter than the snow. 예수 내가 받은 모든 죄의 벌을 형벌을 받았기 때문에. And because Jesus received the punishment for all of my sins. 예수는 이상도 죄인이 아닙니다. Therefore I am no longer a sinner. 왜? Why? 하나님이 아니라 그러면 되지 않죠. If God says I am not, then I am not. 하나님 재판장이신데. And God's the judge. 저는 제 생각에는 죄인이라고 생각이 들지만. So in my thoughts, I thought I'm a sinner. 내가 죄인이 맞지만. And that's right, I'm a sinner, but. 하나님이 의롭다면 의로운 것이. If God says I am justified, then I am righteous. 저는 제 생각 믿지 않고. So I didn't believe my own thoughts. 하나님 말씀을 믿고. I believe the word of God. 죄를 지은 기억도 있고. I have memories of committing sins. 잘못도 있지만. I've done wrong, but. 성경이 말하기를. But the Bible says. That I am righteous. If God says I am justified, then I am righteous. Same thing when you're at court. 옛날에 한국에 지존파란 그런 마피아 아주 악당이었어. Long time ago, there was an evil gang in Korea called the Supremes. 지존파에서 남자들만 있었는데. Supremes was a gang of just men. And they needed a woman. And there was a couple at night that was on a date. The man and the woman were kidnapped. And brought them to the basement of their dungeon. And told the woman to shoot and kill her boyfriend. The woman cried and tried to refuse. But the man told her, "Honey, kill me. It's okay. Just kill me." And they were gonna stab and kill this woman. So she shot and killed her boyfriend. Her husband, he died. And the dead body, they burned it up completely in the boiler. No traces remained. And then from then on, they made that woman a member of that gang. And one day, this woman hurt her leg while falling. And she was hospitalized. And one early morning, she spoke to another patient that was next to her. I'm going to go downstairs for a little bit. Can I borrow your coat? The other lady said, sure. So she put on the coat and put a towel around her head. And disguised, she came down. When she got off the elevator, she rushed into a taxi and locked the doors from within. Sir, please. Take me to a police station. Please take me to a police station. So the driver rushed her to the police station. And then the police showed up. And she told the police her situation. And then the doctors, uh, the police raided the house of the gang. And the whole gang got arrested. And they went to court. This woman was also taken to court. The defendant, you shot and killed your boyfriend with a gun. And you must receive heavy punishment. But this was not on your own volition. You did not want to kill him. But they were trying to kill you. Therefore, you had no choice but to shoot and kill your boyfriend. Therefore, the defendant is found not guilty. She was found not guilty. Who said she is not guilty? The judge. The judge, the judge said she is not guilty. But the other gang members, they were arrested and punished. And they're still in prison even today. I'm not exactly sure. In the same way, even though this woman sinned, if the judge says she is not guilty, she is not guilty. It's true, we have sinned. But the important thing is, God does not lie. We have sinned. But if God says we're justified, the important thing is that in the Bible, God says we're justified many times. In my own eyes, I'm a sinner. But more than your own thoughts, the person who believes in the word of God more is the person who believes in God. In your thoughts, you have the thoughts of saying that you're a sinner. But if God says I'm justified, I am righteous. So not believing your own thoughts, but believing the word of God. 
우리가 죄를 지었습니다. Yes, we have sinned. 네, 그리스도 예수 안에 구속으로 말미암아. But through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. 하나님의 은혜로 by the grace of God. 값없이 의롭다 하시면 얻은 자 되었다. Being justified freely by his grace. 그래서 우리는 거룩한 것입니다. That's why we are holy. 놀랍지 않습니까? Isn't this amazing? 여러분 우리는 거룩합니다. Everyone we are holy. 왜? Why? 하나님이 거룩하다고 그랬습니다. Because God says that we're holy. 하나님이 거룩하다면 거룩한 겁니다. If God says we are sanctified, that means we are holy. That's what it means to believe. 그래서 우리가 이 성경을 읽어 보면은 So when we read the Bible 그 시몬의 자모님 있었는데 There was Simon's mother-in-law 이제 그가 어떻게 됐습니까? So what happened? 열병에 걸렸습니다. She had a fever sickness. 그 야원 요한과 시몬 베드로의 집에 갔습니다. So they went to the house of Simon Peter. 그날 이제 예수님의 그 제자 베드로와 저저 뭐야 베드로 안드레가 보이질 않습니다. And so there uh, Simon uh, the disciple of Jesus and Andrew were nowhere to be seen. 안드레가 어디 갔지? Where's Andrew? 그래서 예수님께서 So Jesus 안드레 보이질 않아서 Andrew was not nowhere to be seen. 이제 시몬하고 한치까지 안드레 집에 왔습니다. And so with Simon they came to the house of Andrew. 보면은 29절에 Here in verse 29 뭐라고 됐냐면 What does it say? 해당에 나와 곧 야고보와 요한과 함께 시몬 안드레의 집에 시몬과 안드레 집에 들어가니. And forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. 시몬의 장모가 열병으로 누워 있는지라 사람 그 일로 예수께서 자운데. But Simon's wife mother, uh, mother lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. 나아가서 그 손을 잡아 일으키시니. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered to them. 일어날 수 없는데. She could not get up. 잡아 일으키니까. Took her by the hand and lifted her up. 누가 잡아 일으켰어요? Who lifted her up? 예수님이 잡아 일으켰어요. Jesus lifted her up. 열병이 그 예수님 못 이기니까. Because the fever cannot defeat Jesus. 떠나야 해요. It has to leave. 마귀도 예수님 못 이기니까. The devil cannot defeat Jesus. 떠나야 해요. It has to leave. 그래서 우리가 That is how we are cleansed and healed. 정말 놀라운 사실이 아닐 수 없습니다. This is so amazing. 그래서 여러분 우리는 우리 생각을 믿지 말아야 합니다. That's why everyone we should not believe our own thoughts. 아무리가 죄인이라도 No matter how much we think that we're sinners. 우리가 재판장이 아니고 We are not the judge. 하나님 재판장이니까. God is the judge. 하나님이 의롭다면 의로운 겁니다. And if God says we are justified, we are righteous. 그래서 정말 성경에 보니까 So truly in the Bible. 우리가 분명히 죄를 지었는데. Clearly, we have sinned. But through Jesus being crucified, all of our sins have been washed. And God says He remembers our sins no more. How amazing this is. God does not remember our sins. Then our sins have been forgiven. And Peter's mother-in-law was laying down sick of a fever. But when Jesus lifted up Peter's mother-in-law, He took her by the hand and lifted her up. 열병이 그 붙대도 큰일 나겠다 싶어서. From then on, the fever thought, I'm in trouble. 도망가 버렸습니다. And the fever ran away. 열병이 떠나가니까. The fever left her. 그 열병이 떠나고 돼 있죠. It says the fever left her. 여자가 저에게 수종더니라. And she ministered unto them. 이게 놀라운 것입니다. That's what's amazing. 자, 여러분의 그 시몬의 장모가 열병 걸렸는데. Simon's mother-in-law had the sickness of fever. 예수님 가니까 열병이 떠나가 버렸어. But when Jesus came, the fever left. 나사로가 저 무덤에 있는데. Lazarus was in the tomb. 예수님 가니까 죽음이 도망가 버렸어. When Jesus came, the death ran away. 죽음에 살아났습니다. So he came alive. 우리가 죄에 매여 있는데. We were tied down to sin. 예수님이 오시니까. But when Jesus came, 내 모든 죄가 다 사해져 버렸어. All of our sins were forgiven. And we were sanctified. How amazing this is. That's why we are righteous. It's not that we didn't sin. Yes, we've sinned. We're sinners. But through Jesus dying on the cross, He was punished for all of our sins. And Jesus tells us we are righteous. How amazing this is. When I thought about my sins, I was always afraid. Afraid and ashamed, but no longer. Through Jesus's crucifixion, 
우리 죄를 다 씻었습니다. He washed away all our sins. 한 분만 씻는 게 아니고. Not in part. 모든 죄를. But all our sins. 영원히. Forever. 끝없이. Endlessly. 좀 남김없이. Without even a bit remaining. 다 씻었습니다. He washed them away all. 내 양말이 더러운데. If I have dirty socks. 깨끗해 씻으면 깨끗해지고. If they are washed clean, they're clean. 내 얼굴이 더러운데. If my face is dirty. 세수함 씻어지듯이. If I wash my face, it's clean. 더럽지만. Likewise, we're dirty. 주님 씻으면. But the Lord washed us. 깨끗한 거죠. That means we're clean. 여하시 우리 마음도 죄악으로 더러워졌지만. Likewise, our hearts were dirty with sin. 주님이 이제 깨끗하다면. But if the Lord now says that we're clean, 겁니다. we are clean. 그 말씀을 받아들여야 합니다. We have to accept those words. 예수님 너 의롭다고 하는데. Jesus says you're justified. 아니면 난 죄인입니다. If you say no, I'm sinner. 예수님 거슬리는 겁니다. That is going against Jesus. 내가 볼때 죄인이지만. In my eyes, I'm a sinner. 당신이 의롭다고 하면. But if you say that I am righteous, 의로운 게 맞습니다. Then that's right, I am righteous. 그렇게 믿는 게. Believing like that is believing in Jesus. Until now, I thought my thoughts were right. My thoughts were all wrong. What is right? Only the word of Jesus is right. In the Bible, there's so many words that says Jesus forgave our sins. Jesus who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Romans chapter 4 verse 25. There's so many scriptures like this. Surely we read the Bible but Satan blinded our eyes and make us unable to see these things. And keep us from believing the words of Jesus. But one day, no matter how sinful I am in my thoughts, if Jesus says I am justified, then that's right, I am righteous. I threw my thoughts away. And I believe the words of Jesus. From then on, Jesus began to abide in me. And he made me righteous. And he began to live and work inside of me. And bestowed grace. How amazing and thankful I was. And in that Jesus, I've lived for 59 years now in Jesus. I'm so joyous and thankful. No matter what I do, God was protecting me and I could see he was helping me. As I lived together with Jesus, Jesus worked and more importantly, when I preach this gospel to other people, not just for me, but other people receive the forgiveness of sins and I see them living brightly and blessedly so many after accepting the words of Jesus, Jesus began to abide in me and changed all of my life completely. He made me holy, made me blessed, and made me with power. For you as well, this amazing love of God, grace of God, I hope will be upon you. Everyone, he did not die in vain at the cross. He forgave all of our sins. He made us holy. Believe these words and you will also be holy. Thank you. I'll see you again next time. Please take care. Be there where grace abounds more. Pastor Oksu Park's lectures on the Gospel of Mark will continue every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on CTN. For spiritual counseling, visit us at gnmusa.org. Call 1-888-466-9846 for more information.